Many mysteries pose more questions than answers for even the best scientists throughout human history. Scientists have sought answers to many questions about the universe and its numerous workings. They have now discovered a mysterious structure behind our galaxy, the Milky Way, a structure that they claim explains a decades-long mystery. What is this mysterious structure? What questions does it ask, and what does it mean for our world? Join the cosmic inquiries as we delve into the mystery unveiled by scientists a discovery of a mysterious structure behind the Milky Way. We live on a planet that is an infinitesimally minute part of a massive universe. The vastness of our universe continually astounds and challenges our understanding of the same, spanning inconceivable distances and comprising an unimaginable number of celestial objects. The sheer scale of the universe leaves every one of us in awe of its immensity. In an overly simplified definition, the universe is a boundless expanse consisting of galaxies, stars, planets, nebulae, black holes, and more. Existing across great distances and timescales, its sheer size boggles the human mind. With our galaxy, the Milky Way, being just one of an estimated 2 trillion galaxies observable through modern telescopes, the distances between celestial objects within galaxies and among galaxies themselves are staggering. Even within our solar system, the distances are vast. For example, the average distance between Earth and the Sun, known as an astronomical unit, is nearly 93 million miles or about 150 million kilometers. Venturing beyond our solar system, the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, lies approximately 4.37 light-years away. In understanding the universe's massiveness, cosmologists and astronomers often employ units such as parsecs or light-years to measure cosmic distances. A parsec is about 3.26 light-years and is a common unit used in astronomy, especially when describing immense distances between stars and galaxies. But more importantly, the observable universe represents just a fraction of the entire cosmos. The expansion of the universe initiated by the Big Bang nearly 13.8 billion years ago continues to propel galaxies away from each other. This expansion occurs at an accelerating rate, rendering parts of the universe beyond our observable horizon. Consequently, the actual size of the entire universe could well be more than what we can currently observe or comprehend. Amidst this grandeur, the concept of time within the universe also portrays its enormity. The immense timescales involved in cosmic processes, from the life cycles of stars to the formation of galaxies, extend over billions and even trillions of years. Galaxies evolve, stars are born and die, and cosmic events unfold across cosmic periods that dwarf human lifetimes in scale. Understanding the universe's mysteries involves the use of sophisticated instruments, cutting-edge technology, and the collaborative efforts of scientists worldwide. Observatories, space telescopes, and particle accelerators aid experts in peering deeper into space and time, offering glimpses into the most remote corners of the cosmos. Telescopes have played a pivotal role in forming our understanding of the cosmos, significantly impacting both astronomy and space exploration. These extremely powerful instruments have enabled scientists to look into the depths of the universe, unveiling its mysteries and expanding human knowledge about celestial bodies, their properties, and the fundamental laws governing the cosmos. Telescopes act as cosmic windows, allowing astronomers to observe celestial objects and phenomena that are millions or even billions of light years away. They capture light, providing detailed images of stars, galaxies, nebulae, planets, moons, and other cosmic entities. These observations have helped unlock profound insights into the nature and evolution of the universe. Throughout history, telescopes have been instrumental in making groundbreaking astronomical discoveries. Galileo Galilei's use of a telescope in the 17th century allowed him to observe the moons of Jupiter, discover sunspots, and challenge the prevailing geocentric model. In modern times, powerful telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope have revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, capturing stunning images and contributing to discoveries about the age of the universe, distant galaxies, and the expansion of space. Telescopes have also enabled the detection and characterization of exoplanets orbiting stars beyond our solar system. By employing techniques such as the transit method or radial velocity measurements, astronomers have identified thousands of exoplanets. Telescopes equipped with advanced instruments, like the Kepler Space Telescope or the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, continue to search for potentially habitable worlds and study their atmospheres, paving the way for understanding the possibility of life beyond Earth. Technological advancements have continuously enhanced telescope capabilities. From traditional optical telescopes to radio telescopes, infrared telescopes, and space-based observatories, each new generation of telescopes offers improved resolution, sensitivity, and the ability to explore different wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. 
Advancements in adaptive optics, interferometry, and data processing techniques have also further enhanced the precision and clarity of observations. This very important instrument has been necessary for astronomers in their exploration of the universe and the discovery of the mysterious structure behind the Milky Way. While the following might sound like the premise of a bad sci-fi movie, it is true, there is a mysterious entity beyond the boundaries of our galaxy that is pushing against us with incredible force. We don't know exactly what it is, and we don't know how long it has been there, but we do know its name, the Dipole Repeller. The name may be a bit dorky, but the structure is a very real thing. It is also nothing to worry about, as it is just a normal consequence of the usual process of structure formation that's been happening in the universe for 13.8 billion years. To set the stage for the Dipole Repeller, we need to go big beyond the usual astronomy big, with galaxy scale events and energies. No, we have to go big, beyond the Milky Way, to a few other galaxies. There is Andromeda, 2.5 million light years away, which everyone knows and loves. There's also Triangulum, which nobody cares about. Our three galaxies and a few dozen dwarf galaxies combine to form the local group, which is a very unassuming name for a structure a few million light years across. The nearest big deal to our local group is the Virgo Cluster, a massive ball of over a thousand galaxies sitting 60 million light years away. Our local group and other groups in this patch of space are not part of the Virgo Cluster, rather, they belong to a greater structure known as the Virgo Supercluster. Here is where things get a little tricky. Groups and clusters have decent, understandable definitions they are gravitationally bound. However, superclusters aren't. They are just collections of galaxies that are larger than clusters but smaller than, say, the entire universe. Different cosmologists can apply various definitions of the word supercluster and get a range of segmentations. It's like a population census trying to define a metro area. Sure, there are city limits, but what about all the people living near and working in a major city? Where exactly does it stop? Soon after, attention was drawn to an area of more than two dozen rich clusters called the Shapley Concentration, which sits 600 million light years beyond the Great Attractor. Although we can't feel it, we are in constant motion. The Earth spins on its axis at about 1,600 km per hour and orbits around the Sun at about 100,000 km per hour. The Sun also orbits our Milky Way galaxy at about 850,000 km per hour, and the Milky Way and its companion galaxy, Andromeda, are moving concerning the expanding universe at roughly 2 million km per hour. But what is propelling the Milky Way's race through space? Exciting new research shows that our galaxy is not only being pulled but also pushed. In a new study, researchers describe a previously unknown very large region in our extragalactic neighborhood, largely devoid of galaxies. This void exerts a repelling force on our local group of galaxies. Galaxies don't just sit idle, twinkling and enjoying the expansion of the universe. They speed through space, moving fast in a fashion not associated with universal expansion. Our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is moving at about 630 km per second or roughly 2.3 million km per hour concerning the rest of the universe. This motion has puzzled astronomers since its discovery some 40 years ago. Now, a team of scientists led by Professor Yehuda Hoffman of Hebrew University has pinpointed the cause of that motion. Scientists have discovered that we live in an imperfect universe. Hoffman explained that the original reason for the motion of galaxies is the Big Bang, but some galaxies are moving faster or slower than the impetus from that seminal burp over 14 billion years ago would dictate. In the absence of divine intervention, this deviation from the pure primordial expansion begs explanation. We live in a universe that is expanding and has been ever since the Big Bang. Hoffman explains, the basic theory of cosmology states that, to a very good approximation, the universe is uniform, the same everywhere a perfect symmetry. If everything were uniformly dense, there would be nothing to cause a galaxy to deviate from its original trajectory and speed, Hoffman says. But reality is overrated, and the universe is not homogeneous. It is not uniform in the distribution of material. Some areas are denser and more crowded with material and galaxies, some areas are emptier relative to the mean density of the universe. Nor do all galaxies move at the same speed, some deviate from the speed that would have resulted from a uniform universe. Now, all matter is pulled alike by gravitational force. All matter responds alike to gravity. The Milky Way experiences the gravitational pull of the rest of the universe. In a perfectly homogeneous universe, this gravitational pull coming from all directions would cancel out. However, irregularities in the matter distribution ruin this perfect cancellation of force. Overdense regions exert a gravitational pull and act as attractors. 
Undersense regions exert a weaker force, and compared with the rest of the universe, their gravitational force becomes repulsive. The Greater Attractor is a thickly populated region of the universe with half a dozen densely populated clusters of galaxies about 150 million light years from the Milky Way. The Shapley Supercluster or Shapley Concentration, housing more than two dozen thickly populated clusters, is 600 million light years beyond the Great Attractor. The Dipole Repeller isn't repelling anything per se, it's attracting things, just rather weakly. Professor Hoffman helpfully explains the definitions using the height of men. Suppose the average height of Israeli adult men is 170 centimeters. A man 180 centimeters tall would be 10 centimeters more than the average, but a man 160 centimeters tall would be 10 centimeters less than the average. If it's this simple, scientists should not have difficulties finding a great empty spot in space. However, it's not that easy. With this, we have a more rounded understanding of the universe and, by extension, how that affects us today on our planet and in our everyday lives. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.